Hello YouTube and welcome to my new Unity 3D tutorial and what we're going to do in this tutorial is add, add, add a warning signal to our ship GUI so currently when we go up to the atmosphere you'll see our health will begin to go down but what I want is possibly over here or something a little icon that flashes going beep 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 saying um, you're in the atmosphere you need to get out alerting the user it's really really simple to do so what we're going to do is find our character and in our uh, which one is it? It's one of these which shows our GUI or probably be on GUI scripts. Not in live systems. Then we'll do it in something else. So if we go to our scripts and find space, uh, we don't have HUDs then. And space, we'll create a new JavaScript calling it messages. In fact, alerts, it sounds cool. And we'll set this on GUI script. So we're going to open this up. And first we need three variables to store our textures. So we need var um, current icon equals, well, be a texture 2D. We need our... Um, because the way I want them to go about it is when it beeps, I want it to flash a different type of icon. So I do have the, this one here, which says warning atmosphere detected damage imminent, meaning you're getting damage. And then when it flashes, it beeps, it'll go to that, then suddenly go back to that one. So it'll be like beep, beep. And the sound I've got for it is this one. So that'll be available for the download, both of them will, in the description. So I'm going to, I need one to store the current one, that one, and that one, so we can switch it really, really easily. So this one will be atmosphere on, in fact off, and this one will be atmosphere on. So the on bit will be the red one, and we'll just put this here, atmosphere, and put this here, atmosphere current, atmosphere on, off. Because then here we can also stick warning you are fuel scooping, warning you are about to die, stuff like that. So, um, in function on GUI, we're going to type there. We're going to type um, GUI.box and we'll rect. Uh, we need to get a rect. So, up here we'll just type var GUI rect. In fact, atmosphere rect, the rect equals new rect, and to set it, we'll say screen dot width my divide well um, minus two hundred, so it's two hundred back, and um, then we'll say zero for the height, but for the width of it, we need to get the width of this. If you look at it, it's two hundred and actually. I don't We'll just set it to 200 by 200, that'll do. So 200, 200. So that should set the atmosphere rect for that one. And then inside it, we need to set the atmosphere current texture. So th at the moment, we're just going to test it and see if it pops up with a box. It should do. So it all, it's all good, it all works. So find our GUI scripts. So there, so we have a box. I think it probably was 208 then. So we forgot to assign our textures. So for the current, we'll set it to the blue one, then off will be blue one, and on will be red one. Perfect. So we'll half the size of that like we do. So uh, 100, that'll do for the height. 100, and we'll try again. So that looks good where it is, but it needs to be over to one side more. So if we just play with the x-axis... about there should do it so if we say 825 that seems to work 825 and back up here we'll go instead of screen that width we'll just put 825 because I'm keeping mine at the default 10 24 768 so when you're actually going to export it you'll have a code already just to make it all work so we've got that but it's always always there which is not what we want so in here we're going to type var, then atmosphere 
show equals false. So we're going to type here, if atmosphere show equals true, then show the box. So then when we go into our collisions, we can just simply enable that and it'll show us it being on. So if we find our character and then our hmm, which one, collisions there, we'll look for our space one here and we'll say a uh, here game object well we can pretty much just say that dot find game object dot find alerts dot get component l uh, yeah dot get component and we need my apologies game object find GUI scripts and find alerts um, system well component atmosphere show equals true and then we're going to copy this and paste it here and make it equal false so if the life is regaining it will be false the atmosphere will show true on just if you collide with the space atmosphere but if you leave it it will turn it off so if we go and try it you'll see that it will flash on and then if we leave it will flash, it off, flash off Let's try it. So go towards space and careful not to hit that one. Go here. It's on. Get out. It's off. Perfect. So that's starting to work. So now we need a warning sound for it. So up here, we just go above this. We're going to type var warning sound audio clip. So we can assign that, but we now need a function update. So in here we're going to type function update just below it. And in here we're going to type if atmosphere show equals true, which it does, then we need a timer. So again in the atmosphere, because this is a quite long one, we will eventually create classes for this because it really does shorten everything down. But what we're going to do just above this, we're going to type private var. And the reason we're making it private is because you don't really need to see this in the inspector, it'll just take it up. Whereas these four, you'll need to see in the inspector, except this wrecked one, this one's fixed now. So you can get rid of that. And the atmosphere show needs to be how it is, otherwise the collision script won't be able to access it. So private var at atmosphere timer, this will be an int equals 100. Actually, I think 50 might be better than this. So we're going to type atmosphere timer minus equals 1. So we're going to create a little timer loop here. So if atmosphere timer is less than 1, so if it equals 0, then we want it to play the audio, which is really simple. And then, well, we'll just do it now. So audio dot play one shot. So play it once, warning sound. Then I'll not play again. Set all timer back to 50 and set the actual where is it atmosphere current icon equals on so that should when it comes down it'll flash it it'll turn it red but then hopefully it should stay red just to test our theory so of course it's not going to work at the moment because we haven't signed our audio clip and it hasn't got an audio source either. So we're going to go to our GUI scripts and attach our warning sound from our sounds folder, which is also in the description for anyone who wants it. That means that's all right. So we click play. We go inside, and you should hear it go. No audio source. Completely forgot that. Audio. I think we'll just attach it to this because the alerts will be using it quite a lot. Um, I'm also going to make sure that the warning sound is not 3D, otherwise you'll hardly hear it. And um, plus, it's right on the character, so you want it to be like you're in the ship. So go up close and it's a bit fast, so I'm going to set it to 75 just so it's a little bit more not rap as rapid so that one works so let's just test it by putting it here as well so um 
every time the time is ticking down it'll be an off icon but as soon as the timer ticks on it'll be red and then you should hopefully come back off but not so fast that you won't see it otherwise we'll have to add another if statement so it loads today and we go and see So the ticking is now better, but it still needs another if statement because it's not good enough yet. So above here, I'm going to type else. So if atmosphere timer is less than 10, not 1, then we're going to set the atmosphere icon to on. Otherwise, it'll do this. So if it's less than 10, you'll have 10 milliseconds of the red, then it'll come back and turn it instantly blue again because it'll set it back to 75. So hopefully this should work really, really, really well. So eventually we could have warning you are fuel scooping, warning low on ammo, warning you are nearly dead, warning you enter enemy territory or something. And we have an error. So it doesn't seem to like it like that. So instead of this else if, we'll just change it to an if. So if it's less than 10, do it, and do this if statement here. So it should work a little bit better, because the reason it was doing it is if it's less than 10, which it is, it's not going to do the if statement below, so that was kind of a goof. But You do want to use else, statement, else if statements when you're trying to save on processing power. So if you're colliding with one thing and the other thing is completely far away, there is no chance in the whole game that you will collide with both, put in on an else statement because it will save a little bit of processing power. There we go. So it's right there in your face, it's flashing, you're like, okay, okay, I see it, I need to get out of the atmosphere, I leave, it stops playing. Perfect. That's just what we wanted. Um, we'll eventually add a gooey skin to it and make it look better and everything. Um, we'll not do it yet. Thank you for watching. Next tutorial we'll do something cool like add some more planets or more hoods because we need it. Something like that. Thank you for watching and see you next time.